We've got the tube held with a steady rest here and we've taken a skim cut there of our size and we just got a few more cuts to go. But we're giving this in clearance so that this part of the drive connector from the drive axle to the actual hub uh, has clearance inside this tube. And when the bearings let go on the outside of the last tube, uh, it started rubbing and that's where, you know, this is pretty well chewed up but they're going to continue using it. It does have some good teeth in there but most of that metal that was wrapped up was worn off of here. Alright, we got the bores uh, taken care of on the inside and this basically is enough clearance for the spline nub, nub to stick in here and it's got plenty of clearance there I can rattle it I got uh, about 40 50 thousandths uh, to play with there alright now that we got uh, this board done and we want to be able to come back in here and precisionally hold our bell center of uh, land is all we need for that bell center to locate fine and it's like a chamfer but uh, it's just specific angle so that the center will ride in there fine 30 degrees per side gives you a 60 degree included angle all right uh, we've got this turned around and uh, the overall length on this part is going to be uh, 30 and a half inches and this is like 32 here. So we're going to put this, the angle for the bell center in here because we're going to set up and we're going to part in here and we're going to cut this part off the length here now. And we want the extra support here so we don't have vibration and chatter. We got about 800,000 to uh, part into it here. So we know about where we're at. All right, here we go. Turn on the fan. Okay, uh, we're approaching 600, so we basically have 200 more to go. Okay, we're going to back off the center because we don't want to crunch our uh, boring bar. And we can baby it from here. We'll start watching on the inside to see our uh, protrusion through. dimension that we're going to be going here is the it's just a rough dimension that's a, a, a diameter of a ring and this is the ring that the bore 
supports you know th the back side so that all the pole and everything else is holding this place in the middle of this hub here so um, that's what we're gonna go for and I get in uh, 4 220 4 230 on this and and uh, we're about 320 right here so you know we got to take about a hundred thousands off of here and we're gonna go ahead and take it down as far as we can go uh, just so that uh, we've removed the material on the same pass and then we're going to come back and mark the position of this and then start whittling down the back side. taking a skim here of a, a good distance here and we want to go ahead and set up our uh, tail stock now so we want to make sure we're running true uh, we went ahead and took the micrometer and we checked it we got uh, 4263 here 4269 there uh, so we got uh, a six thousandths difference in 21 inches and the overall length of this is 30 now our adjustment is two Allen's right up at the front and you got to adjust it with the carriage all you know away from it so I like to do this in one punch and also too I like to not I mean you could put a dial indicator on your carriage and go back and forth and you could fudge you know adjust adjust and move and adjust and move and adjust and uh, I like to put a little math to it and pretty much I, I hit it uh, right on the money here a lot of times um, so we're going to take point uh, six thousandths there um, divided by 21 and we ended up with uh, you know three zeros two eight uh, number uh, we got our 30 inches here we're gonna multiply that by 30 and we end up having uh, eight and a half thousands for the total run right here divide that by two and we get like uh, four and two tenths so we're gonna set up the indicator here and make an adjustment four and two tenths okay pretty close to the split line there all right now we're uh, we're moving it um, we're moving it away tenths all right we're taking uh, 10 off of this diameter right here uh, for pass that'll leave us another 10 cut uh, but we want to make sure that we are establishing a straight true diameter of the full length of our cut area all right we just finished that 20 uh, thousandths cut to check our, our uh, run out here and two inch uh, I mean uh, 4 inch 241 41 and probably a tenth 41 and maybe two tenths I can handle two tenths of run out in 21 inches okay uh, we finished roughing off the uh, inside and we just got done Kissing this off with a, a, a radius tool bit, just a piece of uh, carbide. It's been shaped into a radius, and uh, we just we don't want a sharp edge there at all. And we took it just a little bit under what this diameter is going to finish up to, so that when we come back to this for finishing, uh, that'll blend and we'll polish that uh, radius right on out. All right, uh, we got it turned around and we started skimming. We're gonna bring this down to the rough it down to the shoulder there to the rough diameter uh, it's gonna go inside the housing then we'll get on the spindle in after that
cut. Now the slot, this this is a little square that goes in here and will sit into those slots that we need to mill across the threads. And I think there's six of them we got to set up in the mill. Uh, other than after that, then we're ready to press this thing uh, or heat shrink it into the uh, the the holder or the the center hub. We laid these out just roughly uh, because they are just locking uh, positions. We're not real critical about it, and it's not an extravagant uh, setup here, but it'll get the job done. Uh, this is 3 16 on the width, and the depth is 150, and it's basically uh, cut, and the cut ends about a quarter inch past the uh, relief there on the old part. Six places. Okay, we're going to take out our four jaw now and uh, put our three jaw back in. Uh, we, we have uh, some round cylindrical items that uh, we're going to, uh, massive, we're going to chuck on here and make the next part here. Um, okay, so we lock this in. Little gear. Take our little spanner wrench. All right, and then this nut comes back and it reaches another point. Now it's going to be pushing. It's got to break that chuck loose from the taper. Okay, so these nuts draw on and push off uh, both directions. All right, now the chuck is loose. Now we'll roll it around so we can get our eye bolt in here. A couple years ago, I stopped lifting this one up. <laughs> taper and uh, and clean up the three jaw chuck and get it ready to go on.